Hello everyone and welcome to my balcony garden. In today's video I'm going to be planting hyacinth bulbs into pots. This variety is called Blue Jacket. I've never planted them before. I've heard really good things about them. They've won a ton of awards so I'm excited to try them out. I love growing bulbs. I'm sure some people are going to be sick of hearing me say that but I do. I love growing bulbs uh, so I have a playlist dedicated to growing them. Uh, looking after them, planting them, I will link it above and you can check it out if you're interested. Other than that, let's get started. Hyacinths are these incredibly beautiful and fragrant spring flowering bulbs. They are hugely popular because they are so easy to grow and they are so easy to work with as well. You can have them in mixed borders, in the open soil, you can plant them into containers, you can put them into simple pots like this. There are different ways to grow hyacinths as well. So you can plant them deep into the open soil or you can plant them into pots. You can do what we call forcing them. That involves creating um, an artificial environment where the bulbs will be forced to grow. And that's often done with freezing them or you can also put them in water. Today though, I'm gonna be keeping it sweet and simple. I'm just gonna be planting it into the pot, this pot here. So before you start planting your hyacinths, give them a once over for pests and diseases. Make sure that they're nice and healthy first. Next, it's time to choose a pot that you want to plant your hyacinths in. So hyacinths like to be planted between, between 10 and 20 centimetres, depending on the environment you're planting them in and also depending on the variety. I am going to be planting my hyacinths around 15 centimetres today, it's the happy medium. This depth of 15 centimetres is of course going to determine the type of pot that you um, use because there, you're going to need to leave about between 5 and 10 centimetres at the bottom to allow for the hyacinth roots to be put down and so they can start taking up uh, water and nutrients. Hyacinths do like to put out relatively deep roots so I would recommend leaving more space than, than less at the bottom and that is going to really help with the show and the growth of your bulbs in spring. Make sure that your pot has a drainage hole. Drainage is very important for the success of growing bulbs. Bulbs have mostly evolved in areas that are very dry and with soil that is very free draining so if the bulbs are sitting in water any point for any length of time there's a good chance that they're going to rot and they're going to die and we don't want that. For this reason I like to use terracotta pots. Terracotta is porous and this allows water to just sort of be whisked and, and sucked out of the sides of the pot and that really helps with keeping the soil moist but not saturated. So I'm going to start filling my pot with good multi-purpose compost from a reputable uh, company and supplier. I've also mixed in some sand and grit and that's going to help with the drainage uh, task. So I'm filling the soil and I'm gently um, firming it down as I go. A little bit more. I want my uh, hyacinths to be sitting at this 15 centimetres. And I think that that is actually a good height. Now it's time to plant the hyacinths. So, bulbs have a top, which is this pointy part here. This is where the foliage and the flower is going to emerge from in early spring. So this is the top here. And this is the bottom. You can see this is the flatter part and where the roots will eventually emerge from. So we're gonna put it bum down, top it up, <laughs> um, and we're just gonna pop it into the soil here. Making sure that it doesn't touch the side of the pot, flat bits at the bottom. And I'm gonna take the next one and pop it in there. Now, uh, hyacinth bulbs normally like to be about eight to 10 centimeters apart from each other in the soil, but when you're growing them in pots, you can get away with making them much snugger. The main thing is to try and have the bulbs not touching each other. And then you just backfill, gently firming down. Uh, there we go. Ah, oh, just quicker in it. And make sure you just leave a, maybe like an inch or two, maybe an inch or an inch and a half, just a little lip here from the top where you can water and the soil isn't going to like spill over like this. Looking good. 
And then just lastly, add a label. This is gonna help you keep track of what bulbs are in what pots. Something I have trouble with every year. I'm now going to give it a lovely big drink, enough water that it reaches the bulbs, because we want the growth of the bulbs, we want them to start putting down roots already, and this water is going to encourage that. Then I'm going to place them outside in a shelter position on my balcony. I've got some um, shelves there which are sort of protected. I'm going to place them on there. In terms of watering, I'm just going to keep an eye on the soil. If we're going through a dry spell, I'll probably water them maybe like once a week. But to be honest, autumn and winter weather normally take care of the watering for me. And other than that, we just wait for spring. Thank you for watching the video. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, give it a thumbs up. Support the channel by subscribing. I hope you're all staying safe and well. I send you all my good wishes and I will see you in the next video. Goodbye.